All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless y'all. I'm Jarvis Kingston. I hope y'all doing all right in these crazy times. Now, today I want to discuss about assurance, you know, having no worries, you know, not being so stressed out about stuff. You know what I'm saying? In this world that we're in today, everything got so much people in fear. People are worrisome. People are just really on edge about a lot of stuff. But we serve a God that's about peace. We serve a God that's about assurance. We serve a God that's about being calm and being still and know who I am. You know, we have to be still and know who God is. And we have to walk around with assurance. We got to walk around with confidence, knowing that everything's going to be great no matter how it's looking. Our faith got to be really strong. And we got to be able to face things no matter how challenging it is, knowing that God has the last say so. God always brings out the best income outcome out of things, you know. We need that assurance in our daily lives, you know, that assurance, you know. Like, I know I'll be good. I know the Lord got me. You know, that's the type of faith we got to be walking by every day. You can't function when you're in fear. You can't function when you worry too much. You can't function in anxiety, you know what I'm saying? You got to function in peace. You got to function in clarity. You got to function in, in faith, you know. You got to really move and flow in the spirit, you know what I mean? So I just want to read certain scriptures about assurance and just, you know, go from there, man. You know, we got to really calm down and be peaceful out here. You know, be assured, man. Like, we serve a mighty God. You know, he is able. Nothing's too hard for him. So always know that. The book of First John, chapter 5, verse 13. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God so that you may know that you have eternal life. The book of Hebrews, chapter 10, verse 22. Let us draw near with a sincere heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 1, verse 12. For this reason I also suffer these things, but I am not ashamed. For I know whom I, I have believed, and I know I am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted, him, entrusted to him until that day. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 11 through 13. And the testimony is this, that God has given us eternal life, and this life is in his, in his Son. He who has the Son has the life. He who does not have the Son of God does not have the life. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. The book of John, chapter 6, verse 47. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. The book of Isaiah chapter 32 verse 17. And the work of righteousness will be peace. And the service of righteousness, quietness and confidence forever. The book of Colossians chapter 2 verse 2. That their hearts may be encouraged. Having been knit together in love and attaining to all the wealth that comes from the full assurance of understanding. Resulting in a true knowledge of God's mystery that is Christ himself. The book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 2. Beloved, now we are children of God, and it is not it is and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when he appears, we will be like him, because we will see him just as he is. The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 38 through 39. For I am convinced that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present nor things to come nor powers nor height nor depth nor any other created thing will be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Love that scripture. The book of Psalm chapter 23 verse 4. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The book of Hebrews chapter 1, chapter, the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. The book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 12 In whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him The book of Hebrews chapter 6 verse 11 And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence so as to realize the full assurance of hope until the end The book of 1 John chapter 3 verse 14 We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren the brethren he who does not love abides in death The book of Romans chapter 8 verse 16 The spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are children of God 
the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 1 therefore having been justified by faith we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ the book of 2nd Corinthians chapter 4 verse 16 through 18 therefore we do not lose heart but through but though our outer man is decaying yet our inner man is being renewed day by day for momentarily for momentary light affliction is producing for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond our all comparison while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporary temporary but the things which are not seen are eternal the book of romans chapter 5 verse 5 and hope does not disappoint because the love of god has been poured out within our hearts through the holy spirit who was given to us the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 For by grace you have been saved through faith And that not of yourselves It is the gift of God The book of John chapter 10 verse 28 And I give eternal life to them And they will never perish And no one will snatch them out of my hand See that type of assurance right there That's how we have to walk in it You know We gotta walk in bold and confident Peaceful, full of faith No worry in our mind, no doubt no insecurity, no nothing, full assurance. That's how we're supposed to be as believers, you know, and that's what it's about. So, you know, I just wanted to get that out there and remind you all about that assurance, man. You know what I'm saying? Renew your faith, renew your confidence, renew your courage, renew it, you know, keep that fresh day by day. Walk around with that assurance, you know, because that's what's going to keep us stable in these last days that's that's the, that's what a faith foundation is you know that assurance like we know god got us no matter what that's that real faith right there so i pray to god that whoever listens to this message i pray that y'all get baptized y'all start your lives over and y'all walk in confidence and assurance i'm jarvis case i got much love for y'all god bless y'all peace